let's go to cloud. All right, amazing. All right, good morning, everyone. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, good morning, West Secret Mindset community. And we want to say good morning, Ward, right? Super excited to be here this morning. Super excited to be your host on this amazing program and with the rest of all the co-hosts, someone like Coach Dan, you know, every one of us, we are saying you are welcome to this awesome program. And we are going, or we are live already. Not that we are going, we are live already. So we just encourage you to sit back, relax, get your notepad and your pen, and then go on this journey with us. Ladies and gentlemen, this journey could actually determine most of the things or how your life is going to play out uh, maybe from now and next year and even the years after. Ladies and gentlemen, this class is poised at doing something in your life to educate you, to empower you, to also enrich you uh, with all the necessary resources and information that will empower you mentally to lead the very best of your life. And what we're doing is strictly impact, 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 impact. How do we impact? We impact people around us, we impact the world around us through this amazing program we've been able to put together. You know, the team of coaches came together to say, we want to come up with this thing and to give value to people around us. And we sure and hope that you are going to get value this morning as we go into today's uh, topic, which is change your mindset. We started yesterday on this amazing topic, change your mindset. Ladies and gentlemen, we talk about what mindset is all about. Oh, matter of fact, maybe we should even start it all over. What is mindset? Mindset is everything. Like they say, mindset determines who on what your life becomes or what becomes of you. Mindset is as a result of the decision or we rather call mindset philosophy. And philosophy is the, is, 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 it determines on how your life plays out. What happened right now is as a result of your mindset. Wherever you are is as a result of the way you have programmed your mind to have been. Whether you are rich or you are poor, forget about some efforts in your village, forget about the, the mentality, the kind of saying that we say in this area of the world, on this part of the world, I say some people are chasing you. No doubt people are chasing you. But if you believe that people are chasing you, that is when you are being chased. What about if you don't believe? And you focus on achieving, actualizing the certain goals in your life. And you focus on ensuring that whatever people say is their own opinion, not your own opinion, not the opinion of God Almighty for you, not the, 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 the way the, the Almighty God has created you to be. He said, he said, we will be above and not the beneath. He said, we will be the head and not the tail. He said, we will be a lender to many nations, but not a borrower. If that is your own reality, if that is what you are destined for, then you need to start working on your mindset. The almighty God is not going to tell you it is your mind because we are created in the image of God. Now, if we are created in the image of God, ladies and gentlemen, it means you need to start having the, the mind of God. You need to start conceiving the same thought God conceived. God says during the creation of the earth, he said, let there be light and there is light. He said, let there be, you know, everything. He just said, let there be. And he did this thing within seven days. It means that he said it because it was already done. So the same thing is what I want you to start thinking. Start assuming that you have the same like mind of God because we are created in the image of God. And so as a result of this, ladies and gentlemen, you need to start changing your mind. No wonder one of the greatest guys that I ever lived, Chase Pierre said, if there's anything good, or bad, he said it is thinking that has made it so. So what is that good that is happening to you right now? What is that bad that you are experiencing at the moment? So if there's anything good or bad, it is thinking that has made it so. No wonder, you know, neuroscientists, they came about a very fantastic or a very interesting studies. And they were studying, you know, what we call attitude of gratitude. Ladies and gentlemen, this guy said in the, in the course of the studying of attitude of gratitude, they realized and they came about something very interesting. They said this particular attitude of gratitude, which also comes as a result of the way you think, the way you process idea, the way you articulate things, all right? He said, 
it helps to restructure the molecular, uh, it helps to restructure the molecular part of your brain, all right? The molecular part of your brain, it helps to restructure that molecular structure of your own brain. And it helps you to think better and it helps you to live a happier life and even sleep better, ladies and gentlemen. It means that the mind is the greatest destiny, it's the biggest computer ever. Whether you are experiencing downfall right now is how you have put it. Anybody hurt you, whatever people saying about you, it is their own you know, opinion. Never let people's opinion to become your own reality. Start thinking, start having a change in your approach. Start processing ideas very differently. Start looking at things very differently. Remember on our conclusion yesterday, we talked about what the mind is and how the mind has gone to play out in our own life. And we gave three examples of how that thing is. We started by saying that when you begin to change your mind, first thing you need to remember, you remember what we said, first thing you need to do is personal development. And we talk about personal development to be your personal experiences. The second one is all the people, you know, what the opinions or what you have learned from other people. The third one is, you know, getting resources, information, books, tapes, function on how you can play out. And we said, if you would change, everything would change for you. So it means that the kind of thing, the kind of result you're wanting for yourself has to do about how you have changed your mind. Ladies and gentlemen, no wonder if you are thinking or you are open to achieve success in this year as we're about to wrap it up, we encourage you not to quit. We encourage you not to give it up to that quit. We encourage you not to say, my own, I'm not going to achieve anything because that new year resolution you have put together as we, you know, the, the, by January, that you said this year, 2021, is going to be your year. And I know we all say that here in this part of the world a lot, right? Uh, year 2021 is my year. So what makes you think that it's still not your year? Why do you think that you have come to the bus stop and God has not done it? It is the defeat you are conceiving. Never let bad talk. Never let, you know, bad you know, environment detect what becomes of you. Still believe that it will happen. Like they say, your belief mirrors your art and your art mirrors your belief. So it is, it is, it is that you have to give and it comes back to you. All right. So today, this morning, we're just going to talk about very few things and how to determine your future. Because in determining the future, ladies and gentlemen, it is still the mindset. So I want to take you on a very interesting journey as we started yesterday. In determining your future, there are a few things you need to put together here, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the first thing you need to know that will help your mindset development has to do with that, how you feel about your past. How, how you feel about your past, right? So many of us, we've been, uh, you know, we, we've condemned and we, as a result of our past, put ourselves down. As a result of our past, we've not really moved on from that. We've allowed our past to determine what our life is playing out to be. We've allowed our past to, to, to become a dominant factor of our future. Let your past be in your past. I once listened to the world of Kenneth Copeland, you know, sometimes way back, I had the privilege of being in the United States that year. You know, I came about his Bible and he wrote there's this teaching this man used to put before the, you know, before you go into the content of the scripture. And this man wrote it in there. He said, past, he said, fear is what looks backward and faith is what looks forward. So it means, you know, he's trying to let you understand something. So he said, fear looks backward. What is backward? Your past. It means that you are still afraid. You, you're still holding on. You're not willing to let go. Let your past be in your past. Whatever record you've achieved in the past has to stay in your past. Start looking at the future. Start looking at what is ahead of you. What is the great thing that is ahead of you? In fact, I put it this way. Write this thing down. Let your past be a school. <laughs> Let your past be a school. What are the lessons you've learned from your past? If your past is a school, ladies and gentlemen, you will pass it because you know how school has helped us to achieve some certain information and has helped to reshaping who we are. Again, all right, how you feel about your future. How you feel about your future. 
The first is, you know, how you feel about your past. The second is how you feel about your future. Because in helping you to reshaping your mindset, these two things are very important and a major determining factor on how your mindset is going to be reshaping and change eventually. How you feel about your past? And we say, let your past be a school. Now, how do you feel about your future? Now, the first thing that comes into your mind is that you need to know that to address the future, one thing that is very important, or two things that are very important is that we talk about appreciation or anticipation and apprehension. Anticipation and apprehension. Anticipation is, oh man, I can't wait. You are excited. Like I said, we are excited to be here this morning. I'm excited to do this. You are just excited about the future. You're excited about what is going to happen to you, you know, you know, maybe next month. You're excited about December. Like we are all excited about Christmas coming at the moment, right? You're just super excited. I love it when you're super excited, ladies and gentlemen. So again, an, an apprehension. Because these are the two things, and we said, you know, above all, you have it all designed. It is you. How do you design it? Your mindset. You design it from your mind. And as you're designing it for your mind, you know, both apprehension and anticipation, ladies and gentlemen, that is when what we call goal settings will come in place. Goal settings will come in place. Remember we said, how do you feel about your past and how do you feel about your future? With this understanding, ladies and gentlemen, you will know that the mindset determines everything. And I said yesterday that if it determines everything, it means that thoughts are things. And if for you to change the things you don't want in your life, it is important you must have to change your thought. Ladies and gentlemen, how do you set goals? Because your goal setting will also help you to have a very change of mindset. In setting goals, you need to decide what you want. Decide what you want, ladies and gentlemen. Whether it's a skill you want to learn, whether it's what uh, something you need, whether it's an economy, all right? In fact, many people will actually blame us. They will blame the economy. The economy is responsible for how our life is being. Economy is what has changed. And the truth is that most of us, in fact, I gave a, a very simple example of what we that lives in Lagos, you know what we go through in traffic here, ladies and gentlemen. You know, uh, we, we when we're driving, we are, you know, we just we just allow the way the, the the driving thing here in Lagos to change our mind. Before you know it, we started cursing. We start cursing. We start saying, eh, "Look at that idiot!" In Yoruba, we say "ma You know, like you just you just look at it. You start saying something that you just be like, "Hey, look at that fool! Look at this!" You know, you are already changing. You already align the the environment to change you. So don't let the economy change who you are. Decide what you want. When you decide what you want, you need to know that for every promise, there is always a price to pay. For every promise, there is always a price to pay. So if the future gets clear, ladies and gentlemen, so what is the future? Set a goal. Set a goal right now. Set a goal. That goal that you're setting will help to change or help in the reshaping of your mindset. Set a goal. When you set a goal, you know that something that you have to determine what you want. Determine the kind of skill you need. The kind of the kind of economy. Determine the kind of need, you know, the friendship that you want to keep around. Environment. Start determining it. Start playing it out in your mind. And guess what that I told you? For every promise, there is always a price to pay. Ladies and gentlemen, again, like I said, if the promise is clear, if the promise is clear, the price is, will get easy. If the promise is clear, the price gets easy. How? You already see it. You're not, you know, you, you know, you, you're not going to be stopped by the obstacle that is awaiting you or that is staying in front of you. You're just looking at it. How can I climb this hurdle? It's just like that guy, the, the athletic guy that wants to climb a hurdle. You know, during the Olympics, there is this hurdle. You have to climb the hurdle to get to the finishing line or the next point of your for race. Guess what? It's not going to see the order. It's going to see the race. It's going to see the finish line. So how do you see the finish line? I want you to start looking at the finish line ahead of you and know the orders you need to climb. All right? So start seeing the promise. Start seeing it. That's how you determine the future. With that, ladies and gentlemen, it motivates you. It gears you towards achieving your dreams and goals. Again, like I said, if the promise is clear and powerful, the price 
that's so easy. The price is easy to pay. Everybody will pay the price. And you need to start redesigning your future by having what I call setting your goals. Write your goals down. Whatever thing you want to achieve. In fact, please don't even try to, you know, start this new year without you setting a goal. One of the major, uh, uh, one of the major determining factors for setting goals is that it is what it will make out of you to achieve it. What it will make out of you to achieve it. It helps you to become somebody, <laughs> right? It makes you to become a different personality. You are working towards something. It's gradually helping you to reshape your mindset. And that is one of the things you don't know when we tell you you need to set goals. What are the things? List it out. I told you yesterday, write a journal, make a journal. We call value capture. That's what journal is. You capture the value on the journal. I have my journal, ladies and gentlemen. If you have ever met me any day, any time, I go about my journal. One of the major reasons for setting goal, it is what it will make out of you when you're about to achieve it. Like we say, success is not something that you attract. Success is something that you pursue. You know, success is something that you attract. You attract success. You don't pursue it. You attract it by who you are. You attract it by who you have become. Okay? So the major question you ask on when you are getting a job it's not the amount of money. It's the major question you ask is that what am I becoming here? You know, most of us want to get a job because of the pay. At the same time, we have forgotten about what this job is going to make us to become. Because true happiness will not come from that job. True happiness will come from what you have become. True happiness will come be contained, you know, in what you have become. So it's very important that for you to be happy, for you to think of how you can achieve better success, it's not about the pay, it is not about you know, how nice the job is, it is what this opportunity is changing me to be. Is it making me to become a better person? Is it making me to become a better father? Is it making me to become a better student? Is, it, is, is this school, the association is making me to be, you know, a better student among, you know, better people? Or am I in an association or the kind of people I'm associating with because I needed to achieve some, some certain goals? You know, these are the things you need to start looking at, ladies and gentlemen. And gradually you start seeing that your mindset, because at the end of it, when you start having goals, when you start putting together journals when you start doing all this because we want to help you to start thinking of how you can have that change in your philosophy which is your mindset and we said it is a major determining factor of how your life plays out ladies and gentlemen again i hope we've been able to touch you all right i hope we've been able to reach out to you this morning i hope we've been able to show you how you can start creating something remember we started yesterday Again, we talked about personal development yesterday. We're talking about, you know, uh, you know, learning from other people. And we also talk about getting resources, information on things. Today, we were talking about, you know, the things you need to know on how to create your future because your future determines your reality. And we tell you, ladies and gentlemen, how to start doing that. Everything is tailored towards the change of your mindset. The mindset is everything. Mindset determines everything. I gave you an example of what neuroscientists have come about in their study of attitude of gratitude, which determines ultimately what your mindset plays about. The helps in reshaping your molecular structure of your being, which makes you more feel more happier, help you live earlier, you can even sleep better. And this thing determines who ultimately becomes of you. Ladies and gentlemen, mindset. What are the things you're thinking this morning? What are the things that you have mapped out for the course of this week? What are the things you're hoping to achieve this month from Monday yesterday and then Friday? Don't just let the day count. Don't just let the day count. Make the day count. Make sure you get value out of the day. That is how you start planning it. You start seeing things start changing. The day you stop or the day you start to look at things differently, all right? Don't look at things ordinarily. The things you are looking at too will start changing in that shape. Maybe you can start by when you wake up in the morning. 
this beautiful morning. Don't look at this morning like it is an ordinary morning that I have to do every other thing that, you know, this is. Look at it like an extraordinary morning. A morning that is full package. It has your own package, a delivery for you. A morning that you're going to achieve something differently. A morning that you're going to see yourself or the entire day that this day is a super day for me. Ladies and gentlemen, when you start having or you start processing your, in your mind this way, thoughts like this, you will start seeing that things will start changing. I hope I've been able to reach out to you this morning again, ladies and gentlemen. In this week, this change of mindset is what we're going to be running through before we have our special guest. I won't tell you who this person is. You just have to stay glued to this program. Same link, same time, 9 a.m. West African time. You don't want to miss it. It runs from 15 to 20 minutes every single day, Monday to Friday. Value is going out here, ladies and gentlemen. And we hope that that value will make a difference in your life. And again, it's your friend, your success partner, Afolabi Olatunji. I hope we've been able to impact you where it's necessary. We hope that you stay connected and we hope that you click on our uh, you know, YouTube page so you can subscribe to our YouTube page, get the bell button. You get notified of all our video content that we've uploaded and they're gonna be of value to you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for staying connected